The way that we work to prepare students for the exam is we take a look at two main sources of information. First of all, we'll look at all of the information in the project management body of knowledge. We'll also take a look at a, a highly rated project management prep book, which not only talks about what's in the project management body of knowledge, but also talks about exam strategies and the types of questions that the students would expect to see. This helps um, from the from the application process to the week before preparation to the exam content itself and all the strategies involved with the questions. The materials used include a copy of the project management body of knowledge and we also use uh, an exam prep book from Andy Crow, which is titled The PMP Exam, How to Pass on Your First Try. The main focus is the exam itself you have to demonstrate at least 4,500 hours of experience on a project. So there's an experience component that this certification demonstrates that you've accomplished. You've received the formal training, you've got the experience, and you've sat for and passed a very rigorous exam that talks about the important elements of project management and how you would react in those situations. It talks about situational questions that you would have to understand the best practice and how you would apply that knowledge to solve a problem. If a key sponsor walks up to you and says that they want to change in the scope of the, the project, what is the appropriate answer? What would PMI want you to do? What is the best practice in that area? I think the, the benefit to a project manager's career of, of getting their project management professional certification is to a prospective hiring manager this really demonstrates a great deal of competency. 